In this problem, we're told to use the method of cylindrical shells to find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by the given curves about the x-axis. So this is number 9, and we're told x times y equals 1, x equals 0, y equals 1, and y equals 3. So notice how we're rotating around the x-axis. So I'm going to draw a little line like this just to show this is what we're rotating around. And then uh, what we want to do is... Uh, what we want to do is make sure x times y equals 1. Since we're rotating around the x-axis and you're using the shell method, you want to make sure your equation is in terms of y. So when you make it in terms of y, if we have x times y equals 1, you want to make sure it's x equals um, variable y, right? So if we want to solve this for x, just divide both sides by y, you're going to get x equals 1 over y. So you want to make sure you just have uh, the y on this side. It's going to be x equals something whenever you use the shell method around the x-axis. So now we've got it like that. Uh, what I'd recommend is graphing it, and I graphed it here. And so you can graph it. You don't have to graph it to solve. I just think it makes it a lot easier. So now what we want to do is just draw all the lines that they give us. So they tell us x equals 0. So that's going to be this line right here. So if we draw a line like this, that's that. We know y equals 1 and y equals 3. So drawing that, this is going to be y equals 1, and this is going to be y equals 3. So we see the area that this is going to uh, create, right, is going to be this shaded area right here. So this is the area it creates, and we're going to try and find the volume of this by rotating around the x-axis. And so you need to know that the formula for cylindrical shells is the volume equals 2 pi times the integral from a to b of your radius times your height. So this is the formula we're going to use. And so if we just rewrite it here, we first want to find what a and b are. So A and B are essentially, uh, if you imagine like you're solving for the area of something, right? So the area of this, it's going to be where your lines meet in the Y directions, right? So if we look at this right here, we can see that it goes from 1 to 3 in the Y direction, right? So it goes from 1 to 3. And so those are going to be your upper and lower bounds of our curve, right? Because it goes from 1 to 3. So 1 to 3. And keep in mind, since this is Y, we know that we're going to be doing it in the Y direction. If you were rotating around... Uh, the y-axis you would do it in the x-direction but in this one you're doing uh, the y-axis I know it's the opposite from what you do in the shell and uh, or not the shell the disk in washer method but since you're using the shell method you do the exact opposite of whatever you're rotating around so we're gonna have one to three and then what we're gonna want to do is find the radius so this is something you have to keep in mind whenever you rotate around the x-axis your radius is always gonna be y that's something that you really gotta know uh, so whenever you rotate around just the x-axis, it's always going to be y. If it was uh, another x-line, something like this, or like maybe up higher, it'd be a bit different. But just know that if you're rotating around the x-axis, it's always going to be y. And then what about the height? So the height is going to just be, imagine like you're just trying to find the area of this, right? So when you find the area of something, yeah, when it's like facing this direction, so not vertically, you take the curve that's to the most right and then minus the curve that's on the left. So if we look at this, right? This is going to be the curve on the right, this red line, which we know is x equals 1 over y. And then this is our other curve, right? It's not really a curve, it's just x equals 0. So it's going to be 0, so it's negligible when you subtract it. But if it was another curve, you just have to keep that in mind. So imagine you're just solving for the area. So we take our curve that's on the most right, which we know is 1 over y. And then what we're going to do is minus the other one, right? Which would be this one. So minus 0, and then dy. So this is going to be it set up. We could simplify this, right, because we're minusing by 0. That doesn't do anything. And then y times 1 over y is just y over y, which is 1. So it would just be 1 dy. And I'm not going to go ahead and solve this for you. I'm sure you know how to do this by now. Uh, solving integrals, you should be pretty good at that. So I'm just going to tell you the answer. So if you go ahead and solve this right here, you're going to get that it equals uh, 4 pi. So this right here is going to be your answer. And this is how you set it up. And hopefully you found this useful.